I know I've talked about them before, but I can't say enough to show my appreciation for Carmelite sisters. Hi, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I really believe that one of the reasons I'm a Jesuit priest and have persevered in that vocation for almost 26 years is because of the prayers of cloistered Carmelite sisters who devote themselves to prayer for priests. Today we honor one of them, St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi, an Italian Carmelite who lived around the year 1600. She's a true study in contrast, who experienced both the heights and the depths of the spiritual life. What were the heights? Great consolations from God, gifts of prayer and healing, and even mystical gifts like the stigmata. And what were the depths? Things we don't usually associate with saints. First, terrible temptations to lust and gluttony, and even in the midst of great spiritual dryness, to suicide. And then there were physical illnesses, including one that forced her to remain bedridden for the last three years of her life. But she knew the secret of offering it up. She offered to God, through Jesus, her own spiritual, emotional, and physical sufferings, joining them to the passion and death of Jesus for the salvation of all people. As we prepare for Pentecost, let's close with a little prayer of hers. Come, Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, you are the reward of the saints, the comforter of souls, light in the darkness, riches to the poor, comfort to those who are wandering. To sum up, you are the one in whom all treasures are contained. Come, as you descended upon Mary, that the word might become flesh. Work in us through grace, as you worked in her through nature and grace.